Hi everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel and today I have a trunk club. Um, pardon my look if I'm disheveled. Just got home from the beach and so it was nice. Stopped and ate grouper on the way home. It was a pretty fabulous day. And I came home and found a trunk club which I just opened upside down. Turn it around without knocking the camera off my sewing machine. So my machine has made a good purge. Oops, that won't work either because I will block you. Turn it this way. There we go. What an amateur. Okay, so here's a bundle. Oh, it's nice and warm, my bundle, because it was warm outside. Here's a bundle. Wow, that's a heavy bundle there. And then a box with shoes. Let's move the trunk. I'm just going to quickly go through the items. I don't think I... I could do a try on tonight if I do it in the house, but it might be inconvenient for other people in my house. So we'll just quickly look at them and I'll probably try them on tomorrow. Let's see. So this is the sandal. You know, with Truck Club, you do get to preview your items. In fact, you have an opportunity to um, delete them. If that's the right word. Anyway, delete them, I guess. And they'll send something else, maybe, or they'll just send less items. So, okay. When I looked at this sandal online, I thought it looked like one of those really hard leather bottoms, which hurt my feet. But actually, it isn't. It's pretty flexible rubber on this side so it's pretty uh i don't remember how much it was but you know what i'm going to just uh, look at the clothes for what they are at first and not uh, for their price that'll come secondary so i don't want that to influence me either way so, so that's those now let's see what is in those bundles I have scissors here. Let's see if it'll untie. It unties. How oh, nice. Okay, it's starting off with the favorite thing I saw on my preview. And that is this navy blue and white blouse. It was poly. I was thinking it was cotton. It's definitely a poly shirt. Ta da! I love navy blue. It has these very pretty sleeves. Well, maybe I can just put my arm in and show you what it would look like. See the pretty sleeve with the tie. I thought it was pretty. I think it's very feminine. So we'll see what it looks like uh, on. Uh, I think it looks wide enough and I think it looks long enough. So we shall see. So the next item is blue. Oh, this must be the cardigan. Wow, everything is so warm. Oh, I forgot to say, the shoes are Seychelles, like the Seychelles Islands, I guess, which I've never been. The blue shirt is Seizure. I don't know if I'm saying that right, some French word. The cardigan is Bopo. And let's see, oh yes. Ooh, it's super soft. Well, it's nice and warm because it's hot outside and it, this was sitting outside, so um, I think this will work. We'll see how I like that. All right, this one I saw online, I think it's what they call a caftan style, where it's basically a big rectangle folded in half, making two big squares. Not fitted at all. Oh, oh yeah, this is Bobo. Uh, this is by NYDJ. I think I had jeans by them before. Oh, and it's got a camisole inside. But it's a big square thing. I have something kind of like this that I got from Dia, which I kind of regretted buying, not because I didn't like the style or anything, but the lining was the wrong color The for it. Like this one matches it, because this is peach, which I love peach. That's my favorite color. And navy blue. I think I just called navy blue my favorite. They really are a close tie for me. But anyway, the Dia one had, a, it was light like this, but had a black under it. And it always makes the white look gray. And I don't like gray clothes, not on me. So we'll see how this goes, because I'm not fond of that shape. Actually, shapeless. It's shapeless, that, to me. So, okay, so next is a fit and flare dress. Girl loves a fit and flare dress, let me tell you. And this one has a keyhole 
opening, which I think is pretty cute. Um, online, I thought the print looked a little big, and because it's so big and this has so many gores in it, it really chops the print up, I think. But I'll try it on. It has an exposed zipper, which is pretty stylish right now. It's made, made by Gabby Sky. It, it's a 20W. It looks small. Or it does to me, it looks small. But we'll see. We'll try it on tomorrow. And the next thing we have is the white cotton shirt, which I thought was pretty attractive on my. I mean, it's. You know, a plain white sleeve is just like the shirt I'm wearing, only, well, it isn't just like it, but it's the same premise. Um, just a big white cotton shirt, you know, free flowing. However, this one has a little panel so that has just a little interesting detail there. And it does have a print, it has a tone on tone print, a white leafy thing and a full collar. I think it's very cute. It looks really long. It's not a bad thing. And then, oh yeah, I did know there were jeans in here. They're not jeans. They are um, capris. And they have this, um, what do they call them? It's not unhemmed. They use another word for it. Released hem. So I guess they hem them and then unhem them. And uh, they're very soft. They're by NYDJ. Someone on my comments had mentioned that NYDJ is like the best jean for fit for her. So, but yeah, it says capris right here. Water conscious denim. And so, here they are. They're cute, but, you know, I'm not, I don't like tight legs. I don't like tight legs. And I can tell that these are going to be tight in the thighs and knees area. I'm, but I'm trying them on. I'll try it all on. I'm not. The only thing I haven't tried on was the $268 Tory Burke shoes because I did not want to fall in love with them because they were sandals for $268. And <sighs> no. So the next one is the peach corally peachy top. Uh, a little more toward peach. Nah, I guess coral. I don't know about this fabric. I'm assuming, oh, okay, yeah, I said what that brand was. Uh, this brand is Rebel 2X. Oh, this is the Rebel. Oh, see, now I like this online when I looked at it, and I like it even better in person because I like the color better in person than I did online. And you can see it has a thing hanging down. The back of it has some interesting construction as well. I just think it's interesting all together. I think it's a poly. It feels very poly, but it's a little heavier. It's not a not a stick to you poly. 100% poly. It'd be super cute if it was Rayon and poly too. Okay, phone ringing. <laughs> I had to wait for the landline to quit ringing. But anyway, I'm anxious to try this on. I really liked it in the preview. So here's the one then that was actually more pink. And this is, see, it, online the Rebel Wilson one looked the darker color. This one's actually the pink one. So this is a high-low. I don't know if you can tell. So there's the back, there's the front part. And let's see, the neckline just is a kind of a V kind of thing. And it is by Sejour. And it's pretty light. Can you see my... You can uh, see through it pretty easily. Alright, so we'll try that. I think that's poly too. Alright, and now here comes, I believe, the white cardigan. Oh, no, this is not the white cardigan. What is this? This is the white tank top. That's right. A tank top. I'll check and see if I need a tank top. It, uh, it's also by Sejour. Just a white, white tanky. <laughs> uh, I might need this actually, although I'm sure I could get them lesser expensive, but this feels really nice, <laughs> so we'll see. And now here's the white cardigan. Now, hmm, seeing this online, I have really mixed feelings about it. Oh, I don't like the feel of the 
fabric of it. I have a shrug that's in this, and you can just see right through this. So, I don't know. It's probably a nice Florida um, weight, <clears throat> but I would also wouldn't mind if it was just a little less sheer. The last item in my box, which is a dress that's very interesting. This dress is nothing like nothing I own or have ever owned. It's by Elijah J. I think I see Elijah J in Dia and Co. I think. And it looks kind of like a blue and white check. Um, but, no, oh, it doesn't kind of look like what it is. What I was trying to say is it kind of looks like almost like, I don't want to say tablecloth because that sounds derogatory, but it's not. I just mean it has that check. And I love checks. In fact, my favorite fabric to sew on when I was really doing a lot of sewing and learning to sew and making clothes was gingham. So I'm no check snob. But this dress is interesting, but it ties at the waist. And then it has a high-low. Well, it's, yeah, it's got a slit, and then it comes down in the back and then back up in the front. Okay, this, this dress is pretty much, I think, impossible to show sitting down like this. So I will get them on, I hope, today. Uh, light's going away, but I could film inside. But I think I'd rather film outside tomorrow. So until then. Well, here's my first item. It's the Fit and Flare dress with a keyhole accent. It is made by Gabby Sky in a floral coral color. It is $108 in a size 20. What do you think? It's very soft, very comfortable. I believe I could probably sleep in this dress. It just feels so silky and soft and wonderful. I'm really liking it. I'm definitely thinking of keeping it. Tell me what you think. Let's start with this white cardigan. While it's not my favorite, I mean, I don't love, love, love it, I think I could get a lot of use out of it. One of the reasons I don't love, love, love it is because it's got this very loose weave, which is a little rough. It's not as soft, but the length, the weight of it, the color of it, I just, I think I could get a lot of use out of it. So I think I, this may be a keeper. What does it say about it? It says, this is the open stitch cardigan, a size 2X by Casalon in white. And wear it loose. I mean, can't you just see this over your shorts and top at the beach? Seems like it would get, I think it would be a very useful piece in, the, in my wardrobe. Well, let's shed the cardigan and get to the dress inside. This is the faux wrap high-low in a checkered, blue and white checkered, as you can see. I think I'm far enough back for you to see the high-low. And this dress is called the Sleeveless Faux Wrap High Low by Elijah J in size 20 in ivory. I like it. It's not a perfect fit though. <clears throat> I think if this was like this, can you take that in? Can you see it? as I can see it. That's a much better fit. I'm just short-waisted. I don't know. It's a pretty spending dress and I don't think I can wear it to work. I think it's like for special occasions. I don't think I get a lot of wear out of it. For the price of it, I don't think so. But I think it is cute and if it were altered to where I didn't flash people 
and it fits a little better. <laughs> but um, so I think it's a no, but it is a cute dress. All right, I'm back with three items now. I have on the white top, I have on the jeans, the capris, and I have on the Seychelles sandals. And let's start with the Seychelles sandals. Maybe I'll just take one off and show you up close. They are gold. Not sure how I feel about that. We can get it back on. While I do live in Florida, I don't live in Fort Lauderdale or Miami, <laughs> um, but they are cute. They feel good. They actually feel better than I thought. I thought they were going to be one of those hard bottoms, but actually they have give to them and they have a rubber sole. So they are pretty nice, I have to say. And they are called Childlike Enthusiasm Slide Sandal in size eight and a half by Seychelles in gold leather. They do fit. They fit. Um, if I had to say, you know, too tight, too big, they would be, actually they're a pretty good fit. They're pretty spendy, they're $89.95. I don't know that I'd get the kind of wear out of them for $80, $89.95. And I have also seen this style of shoe out in the marketplace, uh, not with the gold, but with <clears throat> like a tropical print, which I think is super cute, which I've seen around for like $29. So if I was going to, with the amount of wear that I would get out of them, I would probably go for the $29. Now this top, I absolutely love this top. It's nice and long and flowy and actually has, I don't know if you can see here, like a piece in here to make sure that it's flowy no matter what you're wearing. If you wear like thicker, like what I'm wearing, these jeans or I guess if you were to be wearing like cargo pants or something, it would still be flowy even though they add a lot of bulk. And this is the, it's made by Foxcroft, Foxcroft in white, and it is $86. So I don't know about the price because, you know, it is very well made. Look, it's got a collar and buttons and the, and the print is really pretty. It's a nice fit. I really like it. I'd like to keep it. However, I don't know if it's practical, or, but 86 seems like a lot for something that I will probably stain beyond repair, you know, in a within a dozen wearings. So I think I might have to pass on it, but I like it. And even my husband liked it. He didn't like a lot of the things in the box this, this month. So this is what it looks like. But we'll move on to the capris which by the way feel wonderful they are called release him capri skinny jeans size 20 by nydj the style number is lark and they are 109 dollars and this is what they look like I have to pull them up pretty high, like here's my, here's my belly button right there. So I have to pull them up over my belly button. And I don't have a lot of the crotch gap that some of them have. It's pretty minimal. And they are, they feel good in the legs, because that's always my complaint. However, they do feel a little loose though. I mean, like, look, I just slide my hand right in. And I actually can pretty much pull them off without undoing them. I'm not going to do that on camera. But, uh, so they're a little big up here in order to fit pretty good down here. Although, feedback from hubby is they're too tight in the legs, but uh, he doesn't understand that's the style. <laughs> so, while I like them, I, I don't know. We'll see. $109, I think maybe they should be perfect. So, you tell me what you think. This next item is the chiffon Kaftan in a 2X by NYDJ, which is the same maker as these capris that you just saw. And it is called the Stargazer Desert Flower, and it's $89. Let's get a closer look at the pattern here. And it does have a under 
uh, camisole. When I first saw it in my preview, I thought, no way. Had the word caftan, don't like caftans. <laughs> don't like the square style. Uh, and when I saw it in my box, I uh, still thought, mm, that's not gonna work. But when I put it on, I kinda like it. My husband liked it, it passed the husband test. I don't know. It's a big square with the camisole. It's really two garments, because you have your camisole and you have this. Um, it's, the tags on it, though, are really pulling down in the back. I don't know. It might look weird back there. That's just because it has the label, the tags on it, that will come off. But they are very heavy. They're pulling the calf down on me. So, you tell me what you think. I'm on the fence. Did I say how much it was? $89. It's a bit spendy. Um, but it's a chiffon, and it does feel really nice. It doesn't feel like a cheap polyester or anything. It's very nice. All the, all the trunk club clothes so far that I've tried on are very nice. Okay, for the remainder of the triumphs or blouse or tops, so I'm going to just be wearing my own skinny jeans. So, um, we have a cardigan, another cardigan. This one's navy blue and so super soft. Uh, I hope you give me good feedback on this cardigan because I already know this thing is staying. I love it. It could not be softer. Seriously, it could not be softer. And it's nice and big. I typically wear the, you know, just below the waist, um, button up, kind of traditional cardigan. Uh, I wear one almost every day to work. Well, got tags everywhere. Um, you know, because an office is cold and I have a lot of things that are sleeveless and I don't really like to go sleepless in the office. And this is a nice uh, alternative to that. So let's see what it says about this cardigan. It says it is the high-low cardigan. So I guess lower in the back. High-low cardigan, 2X, made by Bobo in navy, and it is $68. Now the next item. I feel like a stripper. The next item is um it. It is, let's see, it is the high-low top. That's all it's called by Sejour in a size 2X in pink. Although I think it's coral, but it's $79. It's got a little detail right here, if you can see. It's got um, a little cap sleeve, kind of a dolman sleeve, you know, a self sleeve. and. Uh, that it fits nicely. It feels nice. I'm sure it's a polyester, but it feels nice. But I'm not crazy about it. And I don't know, the arms, this sounds really weird, but I can feel the hem. <laughs> it's bugging me. I can feel the hem. I am now wearing the drawstring neck top, a 2X by Sejour in navy. It's really navy and kind of ivory. <clears throat> it is $79. It was the top I was most excited about when I saw it in my preview and when it arrived, I was like, ooh, I can't wait to try that on. Uh, I think it's super cute. I think that this is a little too high, the cuff part, see? I mean, the sleeve comes down on my hands a decent length, but this part, when I move, it's way, way up here. So I don't know, I can feel it, it feels weird. Um, I can untie them. Yeah, I feel just a little bit of something back in here when I do this and through the back. I don't know. I think it's not quite fit right. It doesn't quite fit me right. Anyway, it is what it is. And uh, as cute as I think it is, I'm not sure that it's right for me. But you tell me. And uh, one last look. Okay, if you've made it this far, I thank you and want to tell you this is the last item. Yay! <laughs> I really appreciate those who watch my videos. Thank you very much. 
Um, this is the asymmetrical top by Rebel Wilson X Angels. No, yes, X Angels, and the color is confetti. It's in a 2X. It is $79. Now, when I saw this, I hope you can see the whole detail of it. I'm going to back up here. When I saw this online, I thought it was interesting. I think the online color looked a lot different, and I love this color. It's somewhere between a peach and a coral. And uh, it has this thing here. And more like this. Do you like it? I'm prone to keep it, but I do have you know a few more days to figure it out. So tell me if you like it. And if you do, do you like it the way it came or do you like it knotted? That or that. So if you're watching my video within three days of posting it, tell me which items should go on the hanger and which I should put in the box and send back to Nordstrom's. Thanks again for watching my videos and for your input. Oh, and remember, I can't keep them all. So tell me your top four. That sounds reasonable. That sounds in budget. Top four for the hanger.